Washington's Grand March, the next number, is by an unknown composer, and it's a Civil War arrangement found in the band books of the New Hampshire Coronet Band. It used to be in every school room, every classroom in America, you found the portrait of George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. Washington, the first president of the United States from 1789 to 1797, he dies in 1799, was elected by unanimous choice, served two terms in office, which was a tradition in America up until Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who served four. His leadership style established forms and rituals of government that are still used today. The Shakers, that religious sect, believed that Washington was in, and there's a Shaker song, he was endowed with wisdom by an angel from the cloud. And if you think about the history of the world and dictators, and he could have been president, he could have been anything he wanted to be, that unanimous choice reflected America's value and tribute to this man. But he willingly surrendered power, and that made possible the peaceful transition to the presidency of John Adams. And in America, that is a blessed tradition that continues today. So this march is dedicated to the father of our country, Washington's Grand March. Uh -huh. 